This Veterans Day, as many adults look to Washington, D.C. or Salem for how to best support veterans, one Multnomah County family just needs to look down the hall. Caden Patterson is only 10 years old, a fourth grader in Troutdale. But for two years now, he's been asking himself what he can do for those who served our country. Last Memorial Day, Caden organized the Warrior Run, a fun run through the city of Troutdale. He wanted to raise money to support a new USO at Portland International Airport. This year, he's been thinking about veterans who don't have a home. I've seen a lot of news saying that uh, home, homeless, uh, homeless veterans it made me feel pretty sad. So Caden is planning a second warrior run scheduled for next Memorial Day to raise money for those veterans. He's planning it around Memorial Day because that's when his father, Curtis Patterson, will return home. Caden and his younger sisters, Allison and Abigail, are children of service members. I don't know, five, about, it's the last five years. Um, I left for Iraq, came home, was home for maybe six months. My husband left for Afghanistan. Um, he came home, he did another deployment to Afghanistan, came home. Shortly thereafter, I left for Afghanistan. Um, came home, I was home, I guess, maybe again, about six, seven months, and he left. Um, for a deployment, we're not sure yet where he'll, but he's been gone for almost a, almost a year. My life is pretty, oh well, it's pretty sad when they leave because you, don't, because you don't see them for like a really long time. I feel like he's had a lot more, um, I don't want to say struggles, but he's had a lot more things in life that he has to deal with than, you know, a regular nine-year-old, ten-year-old kid has to deal with. Since he's been four years old, one of us has been gone. He's had to kind of step up and do a lot more things to help out just around the house with his sisters, and I expect a lot from him. After his mother came home from serving, Caden had an idea. He wanted to do something to support the people who served. Well, I've been probably, when I was eight, I just really wanted to do a run, and I just kept asking her probably every week, Mom, when can we do the run? Mom, can we do the run? And then she finally said yes. At first, honestly, I thought, oh my goodness, like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> but really, like, he thought of everything. He wanted to do it. So I thought, okay, if he wants to do this, like, I have to help. I have to support him. You know, like I said, I thought, okay, well, let's just start. The morning of the race, friends and family gathered with the USO supporters. Oh, it was amazing. This, I mean, amazing to think that, you know, this nine-year-old kid is doing more in the community, you know, raising money and helping others and, you know, kind of paying it forward. It's the kind of community outpouring that Commissioner Diane McKeel hoped would take root when she established the Veterans Community Covenant, a promise by businesses, nonprofits, and individuals to support service members and veterans and their families. As the mother of a United States Marine with multiple deployments, Commissioner McKeel knows firsthand the sacrifice military families make. We have four generations of veterans here in the state, and all Oregonians share a responsibility to support those who've served our country. Everyone can have a role, whether you're a county program, a business, a landlord, a nonprofit organization, or a local citizen like Caden. On Veterans Day, the family celebrates the service of Caden's three uncles and his grandfather. We usually go to the Veterans Day Parade like downtown and I can't even stand there you know and just like without crying and just watching you know like people and the struggles they go through and everyday things you have to deal with the struggles um, and the families and the support and their sacrifices. Caden is right there with her thinking of what he can do for veterans and their families thinking of when their family will be together again and of the message he has for his mom and dad. Thank you for serving.